the door. I'll get it. I'll get it. No, I'll get it. I always do. What was that clock chime? Five o'clock. Thank God. Cocktail hour. Final boarding call for NSCW Flight 119. For those of you who have not boarded, please do so. The hell is that noise? Oh, they're either clean in the building next door, tearing it down. Taxi! Taxi! Getting it. It'll wake the kids. It'll wake the kids. There's cinnamon in the coffee, Robert. The odd taste is cinnamon. <laughs> Sugar and cream? Both. May I have lots of both? Of course you may. Oh, you want some brandy in it, Robert? You having some? Oh, we don't drink, but you go ahead, you darling. Or you can have a real drink if you want. We have anything you want. Oh, it's all right with you. Then could I have some bourbon? Right. Sweetheart. Okay, darling. What? Are you both on the wagon? Sarah, you're not on the wagon. Goodness, Robert, all the questions. Or do you just collect trivia like some old quiz show contestant? We spend half our lives with you, and now you notice Harry's on the wagon? Year and a half. No, love, just a year. Uh, it's a year in February. It's a year and a half now. I know for a fact next month it will be a year. And a half. <laughs> One year. Count it. One. <laughs> Harry got arrested for being drunk and quit out of some kind of humiliation. <laughs> <laughs> I quit to see if I could is actually what happened. Come on, I must have told you about all that. Never. He never mentioned it or I never would have brought the bourbon. <laughs> How were you arrested? Another question. Here, why don't you have one of these brownies you brought? I was in California on business, and I got really soused one night, and these guys drove me back to my hotel. But instead of going in, I walked down to the corner to get something to eat to sober up. You said it was three blocks. No, just the corner. Three blocks. Anyway, uh, this cop car stopped me and said, you're drunk. I said, drunk, I'm clobbered. <laughs> He said, I'm taking you in. I said, take me back to my hotel, for God's sake. It's just on the corner. Three blocks away. Anyway, they mugged me and they booked me for being drunk. Unbelievable. And then, Robert, it happens again the very next time I'm out there. Drunk driving. I only had wine. Only three bottles. And I insisted on taking a drunk test. I flunked it by one point. And that is when you quit, Precious. He always thinks it was the first arrest, but it was the second. He never told you that? It's curious. I thought Harry had told everybody. Anyway, I quit to see if I really have a drinking problem, and I don't. Just a problem drinking. <laughs> Do you miss it? No. No, I really don't. Yes. Yes, he really does. Hi, darling. Anyway. <laughs> I stopped. Haven't had a drink since. Whoops. What's whoops? I haven't had a drink since. At Sheila and George's wedding. A toast, for God's sake. Oh, I'm sorry, Robert. You must have noticed how staggering, falling down drunk I got off of one swallow of champagne. I never said you got drunk, but you did have the champagne. A swallow. One swallow. And it was gone. An elephant swallow. I'd ask for another bourbon, but I'm terrified. Darling Robert, put a nipple on the bottle for all we care. <laughs> Don't you want a brownie? Oh, God, no, I'll bust. Bust? You bust? Look at you. You skinny thing. Bones. Just skin and bones. I bet when you get on a scale, it goes the other way. Minus. Thank you, Sarah. I'm flattered and touched, and I think I was just insulted. Oh, Robert, I was praying you'd eat just one so I could watch. Sarah, is it possible you've become a food voyeur? Mexican food. What I crave without cease is Mexican food. With all the Tabasco sauce in the world. Don't eat that brownie. <laughs> 
I'm not. I was just smelling it. Oh, Robert, you eat one. Uh, not with the bourbon. And chocolate. I'd kill for chocolate. Or a baked potato <laughs> with sour cream and chives. Doesn't that just make you ride? Oh, or sourdough bread, hot, with all the butter there is. Hmm. Chili. Chili. Dear God, yes, chili. Manicotti. Manicotti. Just one teaspoon of manicotti. Sara Lee cake. Sara Lee is the most phenomenal woman since Eleanor Roosevelt. I get the impression you guys are on diets. Not me, Sarah. Look at these pants. You can put your fist in them. That's how much weight I've lost. She always does that. Look, I can put my fist down my pants, too. She thinks I buy that. Darling, I've lost eight pounds already. It's, it's these magazines, Robert. You ever look at one of these women's magazines? It's just page after page of cakes and pies and roasts and potatoes. I bet, I bet Sarah subscribes to about 40 magazines. <laughs> it's a sickness. We're up to our ass in magazines. I read them all. Don't. Do. Look at this, Robert. Wrestling. She even subscribes to a magazine about wrestling. Karate. It's not wrestling. <laughs> it's karate. Wouldn't you love to see it? All those fat broads at her gym learning karate. <laughs> what wouldn't you give to see that? Strangely enough, darling, I'm terribly good at it. How long have you been studying? Who asked that question? Oh, Robert! Seven months. Show us some karate. No. Robert, would you like some more coffee, love? You, Harry? No. I want some karate. <laughs> I want to see how my money is being hoisted. <laughs> No. Do just one thing. No. Oh, come on, Sarah. I really would give anything to see you do. Just one thing. I bet you're excellent. Here, I'll, I'll be your partner. Oh, Harry. This is just embarrassing. Oh, come on. My God. All right. Hooray. <sighs> okay. Harry, do you want to stand over there? Uh, okay. All right. I'm standing here. Now what? Okay. Now just... Come at me. Okay. Hey! 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 Fantastic. That's hysterical. Actually, I could have prevented that. How? By blocking it. No, that can't be blocked. It certainly can. I just didn't do it. Anyway, Robert, that can't be blocked. <laughs> Let's do it again. I'll All right, you again. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, put me down. Do it again. more. Uh, Harry, can I, ha can I have another bourbon?
give up. Do you? Yeah. I've got you. I've got you. You want to do it again? Okay, you break first. Uh-uh, you break first. We could just stay here. All right, with me. Fine with me. You're both very good. Thank you. I could get out of this, you know. Try it. Okay, I tried it. Uncle! Uncle, your ass! It's the little things you share together, swear together, wear together, that make perfect relationships. The concerts you enjoy together, neighbors you annoy together, children you destroy together. That keep marriage intact It's not so hard to be married When two maneuver as one It's not so hard to be married And Jesus Christ, is it fun It's sharing little wings together Drinks together, kings together That make marriage a joy It's bargains that you shop together Cigarettes you stop together Clothing that you swap together that make perfect relationships. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Harry, could I have another bourbon? Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh. 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 Kind of right in the middle of. It's not talk of God and the decade ahead that allows you to get through the worst. It's I do and you don't and nobody said that And who brought the subject up first? It's a little thing It's a little thing, a little thing, a little thing The little ways you try together Cry together, lie together That make perfect relationships Becoming a cliche together Growing old and gray together Withering away together That make Marriage a joy, it's not so hard to be married. It's much the cleanest of crimes. It's not so hard to be married. I've done it three or four times. It's, it's people that you hate together, mate together, date together, that make marriage a joy. It's things like using force together, shouting till you're hoarse together, getting a divorce together, that make Perfect relationships. Uh...